to Guardian underscore Moon at Twitch.tv. Follow me on YouTube at Strife Eclipse Gaming. Feel free to hit up my Facebook again at Strife Eclipse Gaming for any news, updates, upcoming events, anything, anything you want. If I can manage it, we'll be there. So in the meantime, welcome back to Tuesday, which, as we all know, is Resident Evil Day. Well. I don't know if we all know it's Resident Evil Day. It's just kind of turned into that. So, we're continuing our journey through the Resident Evil franchise. With uh, some more Resident Evil Zero today. And, uh, uh, if you tuned in yesterday, uh, you did get a chance to see a bit of my first blind, live, unscripted, unplanned, unaware of what I was going to be doing. Uh, playthrough of Devil May Cry 5. A lot of fun there. So, today, we're going back to Resident Evil Zero. Unfortunately, it's not blind and unrehearsed. There's going to be some uh, some things here that uh, unfortunately get the better of my... Uh, uh, that... Uh, we're... Uh, it's, it's not blind, so I'm not going to be ooh-ah, but I'm kind of hoping I can generate... Something from people who maybe tune in to watch who haven't seen it. So, that being said, we're picking up where we left off. Uh, last week, well, last Wednesday, I think it was, uh, last, last Wednesday night, I did a midnight special to kick off the Resident Evil series. The Resident Evil franchise, and uh, did about an hour and a half ish playthrough, getting through the train. Now, my plan is I'm gonna try and do this by parts, and see what comes of that. Um, if I can get, but I'm still gonna try and keep this down to the the two hours that I try and do. Um, so we will so. If I can get more than one area into a two-hour section, I might do that. But uh, for the main thing, um, we're trying to do this by section and trying to take a look around so everybody can take everything in because this this is an old-school Resident Evil, so we have to dick, uh, deal with fixed camera angles. So we're going to be, uh, you know, I want everybody who hasn't played it to be able to take everything in. So... I might be moving at a little bit of a soap slow place, play, 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 slow, play, slow pace. But uh, yeah, the the main goal is to help get story stuff introduced to anybody who may not be 100% familiar with the Resident Evil series. Okay, so now that I've ranted, raided, and stumbled, and had somebody call me in the first three and a half minutes of this broadcast, let's get into this. Resident Evil Zero. Got my drink of choice here. Trying to wake up. So, I do enjoy the fact that when you do a, uh, a load on a game, it does give you the option to continue from where you last saved or to restart. I don't know why I like it. I mean, I guess it's better than just jumping straight in. So, I guess, like, maybe if you... Uh, maybe an epic fail of choice of saving. It was... Uh, it was, you know, nice to sit there and not, you know, okay. But I guess that's no different than starting a new game, so. Okay. So we got some handgun ammo. So, I know. I know the main thing they told them I need to do here is I need to make some room in my inventory. So we're gonna drop this. And drop this. And I wanna make 
make sure these items are kind of spread out so this way I don't have trouble picking them up later. And we're gonna leave that for now. realize I made somewhat of a mistake <laughs> and it told me I could so, I know because technically I shouldn't have reloaded that shotgun Remember, it's basically Rebecca supposed to mix these and then set it back down just because we're going to need all the space we can get for the areas we're going to right now. But since I uh, became lo zombie lunchable yesterday, I'm going to use them instead. Okay. And so, as I said, I like controlling Billy just mainly due to the fact that his. His gun has got a best chance of a critical headshot, so... Uh, so, skimming over it, the direction it wants me to take is up here. Now, those scales will come into play in a few, in a little bit. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go here into these double doors. Hmm, okay. Uh, so, if we go over here first... There is no spoon! Hello, Rain! to have him grab that and we'll have her grab the ink ribbons so I shouldn't have any enemies to deal with right away so I can work on this um, and then yeah I'm not sure why either but you know I guess it's okay right, so next we're gonna come over here Examine this. Security system is locked. Please insert system disk. System disk required to activate release system. There's the file we're looking for. Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corps. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, reg without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of, the, of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline. Obedience. Unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation, Management Training Facility. To go here.
Dude, stay down. It's locked. The door is embossed with a fire motif. Okay, so it looks like we are gonna go here. Not sure why you have to keep saying that in. Okay, so everybody's favorite thing. Da 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 da. Training facility map. Uh, so over here. Microfilm A. Mm hmm. Rebecca picked those up, so it combines with the other ones, and we'll combine those with the others, just so this way it's all in one place. Rebecca, get out of my way. Floor. Okay, so we've gotten all we can get for here, because obviously, so early into the game, we don't have the proper tools. Take control of Rebecca here. Going to pick up these er the uh, ink ribbons and do the best to combine. Do that thing. Yeah, do that thing. Do that thing. And then we're going to drop them. Drop the microfilm for now. Shouldn't be anything we need that for just yet, so we'll set that down there. And then Asta says I'm gonna need these. Alright, so now. Mm-hmm. Just leaving their shit all over the place like they own it. It's crazy. Uh, no, 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 no. Good here? Yeah? Yeah? Uh? Uh? Okay. So, got some handgun bullets over here. We'll let Rebecca pick up since she just reloaded and has nothing.
sink's faucet is rusty. Not even a single drop of water comes out. I do, I will say, I do enjoy, with it being a fixed camera, I do enjoy some of the camera angles. Okay. Okay, so obviously that is too hot for us to pass through. So we get to make a note of that. Good bra, you good bra. Yeah. So now we have a legitimate shotgun. Woohoo! Boom, baby, boom. Music though. <laughs> Sounds like something from Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. So I think that was all that was in here. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Rebecca's got the most room, so. Capcom does not support any racism with this. But we have a black statue. <laughs> okay. Uh... I'm not sure I trust that, so we're... <clears throat> there are some things that the guide will sit there and tell me you can get away with doing, but this is that's almost like if you're having a perfect playthrough. And it's not telling me, it's just like, yeah, you can... You can ditch one of the handguns and just give the other character the shotgun. I'm, and... Give one guy the shotgun and give one person the handgun. I'm like, uh, I'm not so sure I want to do that, you know? So, I don't know, man. Maybe I will at some point, but for, for now, no. I'm, I'm liking making sure both of them are equipped with something reliable, you know? Hmm. Uh, Okay. Okay, so for now, I'm going to leave a gas tank. And we're going to leave the black statue. I swear to God, I'm gonna drive myself nuts if I keep hitting the menu button. Okay, so now it says, just glance over where, huh? now we get to go here. Uh, take a look around, just, you know, take everything in.
Okay. So, in here... Stay here. Yeah. So since Rebecca's got more room, not that matters. I'm only picking up one item in here. Notice to all staff: this document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the Vaccine Research and Infectious Agents teams will be held. Both meetings at Security Level Five will be held in the following locations. First floor, West Operations Control Room. Second floor, Southeast Meeting Room. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. Uh, there really is nothing else in this room for the most part, it seems. But there is one very key item that we need to come in, that we wanted to come in here for. And that's this little puppy. The crank handle. But. Damn you, Alfred Hitchcock! Follow me! Yeah. Okay! So, yeah, I remember that was a huge scare way back in the day. Um. Okay. So. Okay. So we get to do a little bit of exchanging here. Just as preparation. No, I said exchange. Okay, so now that we have the crank handle... Nobody's taking any damage. And we are gonna go over here. Back to this room. Thankfully, we cleared out the zombies. Now, back to the room, we got the map. Now that we have the crank handle, we can operate that little lift, but. Uh, it's manually operated, so we're gonna split the duo up. I'll go alone. Roger. Just to make sure she's got some room to work with. Wasn't that fun? Just equip a shotgun, boom, something lands right in front of you. Oh. 
Anybody else want some? I'm taking requests. Little clocks, there doesn't seem to be anything special about them. It's a solidly built clock. The man hand is missing from the dial. Okay, so nothing else here. Now the fun begins. Yes. Leave me alone. <clears throat> See, that's kind of why I like having the book. Just, you know, I could glance over and be like, okay, there's only a few items here. <clears throat> so I know kind of what I need to grab. Machine for winding the chain. Start the machine now. What machine? So according to guide and map, the room that we are in is the breeding pool. <laughs> so that doesn't sound traumatizing. The cage for raising animals. The cage is too heavy to lift. So if that doesn't sound like, you know, oh boy, then I don't know what will. It's very... Uh, very... Uh, kind of eerie with the uh, lack of music for this area. Okay, so basically, I do need to get Billy back. <laughs> oh, Billy! So is this the door I want? No, this is not the door I want! But we'll be back here eventually! <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> just music and... <laughs> Thanks for stumbling in, bastard. Okay, 
So now that we have the dynamic duo back together, we're gonna exchange and give her back her gun. A second. Okay. Just so I can actually get rid of this, more or less. You know, if, I, if I have to waste a little extra time coming back in here to drop it off, I will. But, I need, I don't need this freaking shotgun anymore, but I have two rounds in it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and waste it because uh. uh. in here is another weapon so now we get to come back in here and I'm not going solo here So we can at least... I like the fair trade. If I'm dropping something, I'd like to be able to pick up something. Make up for it. Silly Rebecca. Okay, so... Now that that's actually been used... We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna give Billy back some ammo here. This up. We have a white statue. <laughs> Capcom is not racist. Okay. And we are going to allow Miss Rebecca to pick up the grenade launcher. Uh, the uh, wa that is a water motif door, so we do not have the proper key for that. Grandfather clock appears to be broken. It stopped ticking altogether. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the upcoming event... Okay. 
Alright, so now that we have Billy, silly Billy. Yes, we will. Meet the Centurion. She just got shaking around like a rag doll. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so that was uh, fairly uneventful, but at the same time, fairly what the fuck kind of boss. Okay. Um. Oh boy. Okay. So it looks like we get to do this now. Uh, I have some M&Ms, some themed M&Ms. Gonna grab the red ones today. Snack on those.
so we have the white statue. We have the Molotov cocktail. She does have a handgun, <coughs> although it's not equipped. And... We can leave the grenade launcher for now. Should probably actually equip her with that handgun. We get to go here now. My memory serves and just glancing over. Use the facility key. There was a jalapeno. We'll let Billy grab that. We're gonna do a little thing here. Gonna grab the gasoline. Since it's telling us to bring these as backup. We're gonna exchange these and I did that wrong, I should have pushed the other way. Alright. Now, since we have the lighter fluid in his lighter, there was a puzzle we can now solve that I didn't go over earlier because I'm a dumbass like that. Well, not really a puzzle, but there's a door we couldn't get into, and I don't remember how to clear out this hallway. I didn't, I didn't, I only chopped him down. <clears throat> and the P 
painting in the background was kind of a little little hint, but candles burnt out. It's amazing how that works. Uh -huh. All you need was a flame. Are you telling me I could have freaking done this right from the get-go? Oh, well. I'll be damned. Okay, well, for originality here, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it. I didn't actually know that before, so hey, look at that. I just learned fucking something. Alright, Billy. Do your damn job, Billy! Anybody else? Trigger happy. Rebecca, can I get some ammo? Sure, Billy. You can have all three rounds of it. Ammo whore. Uh, yeah, well, I could get up on them. Get up right on, on top of them and actually shoot. Grenade launcher rounds. I just, you know, don't, you know, in case they don't go down right away, I don't like putting myself within reach, so. Hey, Rebecca, why don't you come over here and open this book? The Book of Good. Yes, I will take the Book of Good. Let's read the good book. Very pretty. Look at that. You know, it says good on it. It's kind of awesome. Doesn't look like a Bible, though. Denver, Denver Publishing Company. Yeah. Let's open the book. There's something inside. No shit! Took the angel wings. Uh huh. But. The Statue of Good! Okay, so that's all we had to come in here for. Yay! Okay. So it looks like there's one more room that we can use that fire emblem, fire motif key for. And then it'll actually get us out of the inventory. I would assume so. It's been a while since I played, so I'm not sure if I just find the wing or whatever, or if I actually find a legitimate book. The Necrocomicon. Rebecca, would you mind opening this door, please? Use the facility key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away? Yes. I forget whether or not they actually label it as a the fire emblem key or 
or if it's the uh, fire motif key. I don't remember clearly. I think I actually want to go over first. No. There's a switch here. Flip it. Let there be light! Okay. Shotgun ammo. Handgun ammo. Assistant Director's Diary. September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? When did a c we did get a couple of decent ones though, so I can't complain, I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will, Practical Al, they really are opposites. And they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm gonna have them tearing at each other's throats. Poor... Yeah, choice of words much? I don't know. Gonna do some teamwork. Okay. Teamwork is out. Billy, you do all the heavy lifting. There seems to be something here. An iron needle. Yes, I will take this iron needle. All right. Heading back that way. Exchange these with Billy. So Billy can reload his gun. Okay, so, based on, now we get to go back a little bit through the Rebecca playthrough area, where Rebecca went before she was attacked by Centurion, because that Iron Needle, hint, 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 is going to act as the minute key for that clock that she ha had found. But, just to also clear out her inventory, so she's got a little room. I said this was going to be coming into play later. There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Uh? So, 
if we use that here, obviously that's going to weigh down. So, I've got to go find whatever for the black statue. It's racist, I know. I think it was here. I gotta go find one more wing, I think, for the black statue. So this way I can put that there and they balance out. And I think that's what, if I remember correctly, that's what gets me out of the training facility and for now and into the training facility basement. I'll go. Yeah. I just remembered something. Oi, 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 I am a doi doi head. I'm a doi doi. I'm a doi doi. Yeah. Unfortunately, they didn't have the. Well, they were pretty good with some things. They, uh, there was a lot that they couldn't do. So they, they couldn't, for for the GameCube, uh, so they couldn't, uh, Capcom couldn't freaking be all like, yeah, uh, we'll just leave them here so you can always wander back. They, they didn't have the memory capacity back in the day. I'm busy right now, Dad! <laughs> Can you call back later? Yeah, no, no, it is. I, I give you 100% of that. It, it is massively amusing. But I do try and offer at least some explanation. You know, like. Uh, they've left bodies before. Well, you know, this is back then. Now, they can get away with a lot more, because... So, I'm not trying to take the fun out of it. I'm really not. I'm just... Come on! Yeah. Okay. Got to dash across the roof of the dangerous birds. More along the lines of because I, I don't see zombies talking much. Just, I mean, you know, if, I'm just thinking out loud here. Solidly built clock, move the hands, turn the minute hand. Okay, so if we do remember, there was that notice that said that the meeting was going to be at 8.15, so... Cheat a little bit here. Remembering that, and knowing that piece of information comes in here. So that opened up a couple of doors. I don't know. I don't know. I could explain some things, but not everything, okay? <laughs> I 
What degree of mechanisms? You sick bastards. How is it that you had a clock on the third floor of the building work as a locking mechanism for and on the east side of the building at that work to open a door on the first floor of the west side of the building and one on the second floor of the east side of the building what kind of voodoo is this <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. So it says we're gonna come in here first. Poor Rebecca. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone. The pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to heaven. To the heaven? Yeah, she must be. Microfilm B. Now I can't let you walk around like that. Young whippersnappers.
There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's not mess with him. Don't ever have to go back in there. Suck on that. Poor Billy. Poor Billy. I'll take that back. Billy has no handgun ammo. I don't want him carelessly wasting that. But I would rather have him with something equipped than nothing equipped. gonna do this your mother didn't love you <laughs> I mean if you're really gonna go that route you might as well just make the shots count you know don't sit there and plug two shotgun rounds into a zombie when you can take him out with one what the hell kind of idiot does that okay so we've used one of the microfilms so let's 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 see what it pops up here so that kind of, it's a picture of a room somewhere. So that looks like, from early exploration, the training room where they had the desks and stuff and, yeah. But if we insert the other one, zero, there's something written on top of the picture. So there's the mo disk. Microfilm image. An image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. Okay, so now that he has some room, <laughs> we're gonna reload, Billy! <laughs> problem with this one being your menu and this one being your character switch <laughs> but other than that this is the first game in a while I can honestly say that I am playing with the use of the d-pad I'm not using the joysticks at all it's it's a weird kind of nostalgic feeling <laughs> Considering all games seem to be analog control lately, it's it feels weird to not be using it and relying on the D-pad, but at least my control is a lot better than when I was first trying to do this with the joystick. Mm. 
Okay, so... You know, I am not in control of Billy. <laughs> And that could be a very bad idea, <laughs> since he's got the shoddy, so I'm going to get back in control of him and give him the handgun. <laughs> so, so far I've actually done pretty good. I haven't had much need to save, but obviously as you, uh, the one thing that is going to come into play is now that I've encountered those two human leeches, they're going to start appearing a bit more often. So, yay. So, let me see here. This, yeah, this was the thing that said it needed the Mo disk. System disk. Give it your disk, Billy. Now loading. Complete. Come. Complete. Please input code 2D. There's no input device nearby. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming here that the top of the image is the podium, just based on what I can see. So I need to activate 2D, so we need to stick one character in front of two, which looking at the picture here was this one I believe I'll go alone Roger and D if I remember correctly I think was back here Again, how the hell does that one work? This way. Okay. <clears throat> Seriously, somebody put a like who this hell sits there and puts together a, a, a mansion that is, or a trading facility, which I assume. I mean, considering some of the notes left behind some of the people here that legitimately started out as. A training facility who sits there and puts this building together and says you know what I want these these tables here these monitors here and oh yeah if you put in a certain combo it's gonna open three different sword locks on three different floors because all three of those sword locks there's one in the room they're currently in then there's one on the first floor where they first showed up when they first entered the facility and then there's one in the room where she, where they fucking fought the uh, the centipede dude. So from this room, they controlled three different things. How screwed up is like seriously? I'm just, you know, j just, just saying. There, there are some things I can't explain, and the things that I can, it bugs me to no end. That it's just like, what? What? Oh, wait, 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 before you go, before you go. Headshot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, figured I'd let you take that. Okay, so we're hour and 17 minutes in. 
This is uh, not turning out as quickly as I had originally hoped, but we are in the last areas before we go down to the basement. So, uh, we just uh, go further down, enter the single door at the far end of the corridor. Okay, so we are gonna take this one first. We're gonna take this one first. I am making this sound too kinky. That was cool. Oh man. That was that was cool. <laughs> you got actually I actually saw the bullet. I like I do occasionally will notice things that happen like later like I don't, you know, they're they're the things that you find that are pure luck. And that one was cool the fact that they actually had enough wherewithal that if the bullet shell landed in an appropriate enough place, that you actually see it bouncing. That was really freaking cool. First investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities, and it looks a lot like a lot of the chemicals survived. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still all full. We have just started, and there is still a lot we don't know, but it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all about, not because of the accident, more a result of plane mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrawled on the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Red plus green equals stripping agent. So, Becca has a chemical storage kit, so we're going to put the green chemical in there. And neither one of them has an herb of... Yeah, neither one of them has an herb. Ah, shit, wrong button. My accuracy! No! Uh, okay, so, you know, I'll, I'll feel these just real quick. Because in the original Resident Evil games, the only things these really served as was poison relief. Okay, so green chemical, feel these plants if you like, but leave them until you really need them. Uh, exit the infirmary, head to the... Uh, do 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 Okay, so you wasted some of your handgun ammo, Belle, so you can pick that up. Damn it! <laughs> How the hell is it I'm actually pretty decent with shooting and remembering, and then just all of a sudden, boom, you suck, sir. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what all do we have in here? Ooh. Napalm grenades, okay. I forget. I forgot. Okay. So he's got fullness going on. And oh, more ink ribbons. Oh. It's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in a checkmate. Supposed to be a diary of some sorts around here. The 
don't see it. Okay. I'll go check over there. Okay. Okay, so... I think, if I remember correctly, I gotta mimic the chess pieces. I think. So if I remember correctly... Again, who thinks of this shit? And there's the Book of Evil. The Book of Evil! Yes, I will take the book. Okay, so. Wait, there's something more here. Marcus's Diary 1. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the Progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my research into Progenitor. He could do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all the virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer, he came in to complain to me again today. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm going to properly develop Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. At last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type of Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments. But perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If this is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust. Apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer? It wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. This way. Okay.
Okay, so that takes care of one of these doors. But now, that we have the Book of Evil. Actually do this. I can do this. I'm smart, I swear. Well, not smart, but I do have some intelligence. Combine that. Jesus Christ, I got 17 of those. Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good. Okay. So next we grab the black statue. No racism. And we Examine the book, the Necrocomicon. Voila! Okay, then we combine and wah! Lucky, lucky, lucky! So now we can go put this up here, get this out of inventory. I think I can drop the gas for now. See, at least that puzzle kind of makes sense. So that takes us to the next area that we're going to be exploring. The training facility basement. So I still have half an hour, so I might progress a little bit. So it does look like it's easiest to do this in sprints, so. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so ominous music. Billy's turn. Sure, considering everything I gotta do down here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here for now just to open up a little bit of space. Okay, so it based on everything I remember and everything I'm reading, the whole main goal for the facility basement is we're looking for the water motif key, the water emblem. Oh! oh. You cheap shot motherfuckers. Spit on me and then you bite me in the ass. Gotta check to make sure I'm not poisoned now. Nope, not poison, just hurting. Now 
Rebecca's the only one that can mix stuff, so. Is that yellow? No, he's an orange. Correctional Institute inmates list. Matthew K. Deceased disposal complete. Midge D. Deceased disposal complete. Keith W. Preserved a specimen. Savage C. Just transported to research facility. Royce M. Transported to research facility. David's A. Preserved a specimen. Clark A. Transported to research facilities. Ellen's J. Transported to research facilities. Terrence O. Deceased disposal complete. K. A. Transported to Arkley Laboratory. Jerry O. Deceased. Disposal complete. Scott S. Transported to research facilities. Michael F. Transported to research facilities. Carrie T. Transported to Arkley Mountains. Roberts A. Transported to research facilities. Transported individuals to be deleted from our records. Fascinating. Okay, so since we are technically in a new area, I think what I am going to do is I'm at least going to save. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Because it took me an hour and a half to get this far, and there's almost enough work to be done the same. So, okay, so, yeah, I think I'm going to try and just keep this in parts just because of the fact that there's still a lot of ground to cover here. This way! Okay. Um. So, yeah, we're, we're just going to stop here for today. I, mean, I wanted to keep it at two hours, but 25 minutes doesn't give me a lot. I mean, even, even if I pushed it to two and a... 203 to make up for that three minute rant at the start. I don't know if I'd be able to get through all of it. Because there, there is a, a. It is a small area, but there is a lot to do here. So. That being said, I think we're going to. Uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Yeah, we'll wrap it up here today, and we will pick this back up. Maybe, depending on what goes on this week, I might do another uh, midnight teaser or midnight special to get through the training facility basement. Maybe. And also, I'm also contemplating doing some stuff earlier or later in the week. Of maybe trying to get a little bit more Devil May Cry in, so this way I'm up. Because with, with the new game, uh, there's only so much I can explore. You know, I want to actually explore, take everything in. I don't just want to sit there and be like, ooh, oh, look at the combat, and all that stuff. So I actually want to take everything in. It's ten years in the waiting. So, so yeah, we're going to wrap this up here for today. And keep an eye, um, keep an eye on my Facebook page, uh, Strife Eclipse Gaming. And I will post updates there. Um, sometimes I don't know right away. But I'm going to try and keep things in perspective. I'll try and... The latest, you will hopefully get an update for the remainder of the week if there's going to be any special midnight play. Or before I go to my day job play. Uh, stream, whatever. Um, I will try my absolute damnedest to give anybody... 8 to 12 hours notice beforehand so keep an eye on the Facebook page and we'll go from there I will try and give notice so hopefully this way anybody who wants to turn in can but um, considering the uh, level of excitement I would probably do Devil May Cry if I do any extra play days before I go to my day job and since I have played Resident Evil before, 
uh, there's less chance of me, you know, screaming and or, you know, hooting and, hooting and hollering, as, uh, as old folk call it. Um, so I could get away with that a little bit more at night. So, but yeah, so... So when we when we return, we're gonna try and get through the training facility basement, which, again, as I said, the main thing we're looking to do here, other than you know waste time, solve a few puzzles, get some little backstory and character cutscenes, yada yada yada, the main thing we are looking to get out of here before we head back to the training facility is the water emblem key. That is that is the main goal. So that being said, thank you for, thank you Rain for tuning in. Thank you for anybody who at least watches this. You know, give me a shout out, help spread the word. I'm trying to make this a more permanent thing. I don't expect to get a large following, but I wouldn't mind getting enough to maybe I could do this more frequently and do, and you know maybe make some changes and stuff, but. You know, that, that's, that starts with you guys. I can promote myself as much as I want and as much as I can, but it's also, you know, there's only so many people I can reach. So I'm kind of hoping that perhaps everybody wouldn't mind, you know, spread the word. Tell people to come check me out. If I need to do shorter streams because, you know, two hours is a little on the long side, I can try shorter streams. You know, like I said, you can... Send messages to my email. Send, you know, leave comments on the on the YouTube, the YouTube. Wow. Uh, leave comments here, uh, and leave comments on my Facebook. You know, I I check it every day. Now, if there's something I can do to improve this, make it more entertaining, make it more reasonable, I'm all for it. But I, I'm operating with a basis standard that I wanted to go in while I was getting this going. So my main thing is I try and keep it at two hours. Sometimes it goes over. If I'm not going to be able to stream on a certain day, I try to do an extended stream to make up for it. I try and do something. So, but if it's like, you know, maybe I should do something a little lower, whatever, I, I can do that. But I need people to to actually comment and give me feedback so whatever you guys are willing to do you know good bad indifferent I'll take whatever just you know make sure it's delivered in a way where I can actually use it to improve so and if you just want to, like I said in a couple videos ago if you just want to chit chat and talk you know I'm not a big politics guy or or religion, so I, I prefer not to talk about those. But you want to talk about anime, you want to talk about games, you want to talk about music, or, you know, just want to talk. You know, feel free, drop a message. I'm all for it. Anyway, so this is Guardian Moon signing off from Twitch.tv. This video will be up on YouTube a little bit later today. Check it out at Strife Eclipse Gaming. As always, hit up my Facebook page, like, comment, subscribe, follow, whatever you want to do. Help me help you. The more you guys follow me and help me out, the more I can provide better, some better content for y'all. So, that being said, stay safe, have fun, game hard, or go home, and we'll check you guys next week at the very latest.